have very thin, uh, very oily hair. Um, but I have been able to grow it miraculously by doing these five things. Okay. The number one thing. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. I am joined today by two lovely, beautiful ladies. We have Jessica and Brianna, and all three of us are going to talk about our hair care routine and how we have transformed our hair over the years, not just by what we're eating, but what we're physically doing on the outside. So inside, outside, we're going to talk about it all. So thank you so much for joining me. First of all, we have Brianna. So, Brianna, hi. Hello. What's up, boo? Um, we also have Jessica, my boo. What's up, Jessica? Hello. Hi, boo. And all three of us have had a quite a hair journey. So we're going to start with Brianna because she has transformed her hair. It was, I mean, she has long, beautiful, flowing hair now, but it was much shorter and damaged. And she's going to tell us her tips and tricks on how she has totally transformed her hair and what she does now to keep it beautiful. So Brianna, you are first, boo. Hello, everyone. So I'm like, I have my hair up and down right now. But um, so I used to have very short and brittle hair and it would never grow. And it was also because I damaged it a lot. I put a lot of heat on it. I didn't take care of it. I didn't, I put a lot of product in it. Um, I think in the nineties, it was all about hairspray and super toxic gels that smelled like blueberries that there was no blueberries in sight. And I remember just putting it a whole bunch, probably like almost half a bottle of my hair and making it all crunchy. So I don't do that anymore. And I actually don't dye my hair anymore. So that was a huge changer for me. Of course, you can still dye your hair if you want to, but I recommend just less is better. Uh, during the retreat on the second day, there will be a hair essential workshop. So I will be going over just the basics of hair and how to make it more healthier. Everybody has different hair types, so I will be talking about your own hair type and giving you some tips and tricks so you can leave and go home and grow your hair longer or healthier and thicker. So one thing that I do now that I didn't do before is I wash my hair twice a week. Before, I used to wash it every single day. And I learned that you're pretty much washing out all of the oils, the natural oils in your hair. So I leave it alone and I usually, my curls, because I have, you know, everybody has different hair, but my curls are pretty much good for three days. The fourth day I'm pushing it and it's usually in a bun, but I do wash it usually Mondays and let's say Fridays, Mondays and Fridays, because after Monday, after the weekend, I'm usually doing more. So I, I need a good wash. I do to make it a little bit right before I actually wash my hair, I put oils in it. So I made a rosemary oil. And it's just with castor oil it depends on what type of oil I do have. Sometimes I'll add some coconut oil, but I made a little bottle and I infused it with rosemary. And I just learned that first, it really feels good. It has like a tingly feeling, but I massage my scalp with it as well. So I just, I have a scalp massager, but you can also just do your fingertips and you're stimulating the blood in your scalp, which improves the cir circulation. And then it's also promoting growth. And I also read that it reduces stress. So it really feels good. So I do believe that. Uh, well, another trick that I do at nighttime after I, if I do wash my hair or if it's just, I do it every single night and I started doing it with my daughter's hair, I braid my hair. So I, it reminds me of when I was a little girl, but I do two little pink tails. It does help me what, the next day. So it's already detangled. And then also it's just not in a big ball of 
hair, big mess, because <laughs> I usually wake up with a fro. So the two little braids just help out and it allows me to sleep better. With that, with sleeping, then I also do a, I lay on a silk pillowcase. So that also helps with like the frizziness and it reduces breakage in hair. So that really helped me out. That was like a game changer. And my little sister taught me that. So if they're younger, they can still teach you things. And uh, I do put leave-in conditioner on my hair. I don't do gels and hairsprays as much if I'm going out for the day. It's usually minimal. It's like leave-in conditioner. I don't What kind have... of um what kind of leave-in conditioner <laughs> do you use? I knew you were going to ask that. So... <laughs> I, I use different kinds. I've been testing my hair out. I always look at the ingredients just to make sure there's like minimal in there. But I have put coconut oil in my hair to try to just make, make it not as um, fluffy with the humidity in Florida. But honestly, I don't have a recommendation. I was just trying to look it up. I am trying a new one every time I'm done and I haven't been fully satisfied So when I find out, then I will let everybody know, which is a good one. And yeah, that's it for me. That's all, that's all the hair tips that I have right now. If you want to know more, then you have to come to the retreat. Yes, Brianna is going to be teaching everyone how to have longer, more beautiful hair and how to manage your hair, especially if you have curly hair. Um, I am going to go next. I have five things real quick. Um, I have really, really bone straight hair. I remember as a kid, people, yeah, the gel was like big. And like people would tell me, just put gel in your hair after, you know, a shower and it's going to stay curly and it doesn't stay curly. Like I have bone straight hair. And like, so people would always be like, why don't you put gel in your hair? It'll be nice and curl. It doesn't, it doesn't work. So um, everyone has different hair on this call. I think basically I have very thin, uh, very oily hair, um, but I have been able to grow it miraculously by doing these five things. Okay. The number one thing before the five things is obviously the raw food diet, but it took a long time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. It took It literally took like 11 years on a raw food diet for my hair to grow. So if you're looking for a quick fix, this this is not going to work for you. It might. It didn't work for me. It took 11 years. The things I did in those 11 years really helped. So first of all, I stopped dyeing my hair, which Brianna said. And I have to say it is the number one thing that I did to grow my hair. Stop dyeing your hair. If you have hair that never grows past your shoulders, stop dyeing it. See what happens. OK, that was me for my whole life. Number two, I started getting way more vitamin D and I started looking into because I tried to understand why when I moved to Florida, my hair started growing so much after, you know, 35 years of it not growing. And I, I am very sure from the research I've done, it's the vitamin D. Now, you don't want to take a synthetic form of vitamin D. That doesn't work. Actually, there's an article on Forbes today. I'll leave it down below that says that supplementing with vitamin D doesn't work. It's a mainstream article. It doesn't work because it's a synthetic form of vitamin D. The body needs real vitamin D. So you got to get outside. If you cannot get outside, if you live in the cold in the wintertime, maybe you want to invest in a spurty lamp or any type of vitamin D lamp. That might be a really good idea for you. Number three, washing it less. Just like Brianna said, um, you know, my hair gets oily after one day. Unfortunately, just one day, it is a mess. So um, I really only have one day of it looking good. And I've been dealing with that. So I wear hats. I put it in a bun. I do what I can. But, um, you know, I just know that washing my hair every single day is going is not going to cause it to be healthy. It just it needs to be it, the natural oils need to come out. And then sometimes if you brush them through. It can be good for the ends of your hair. If you have oil at the top and it's very dry at the bottom, you might want to brush your hair, brush the oils through. I don't use any oil on my hair um, when it is like nice and, and fresh. But number four, my number four tip is to start using castor oil on your hair. So right before I wash it, the night before I wash it, I'll put some castor oil on just the very bottoms. OK, and uh, it has been really helping with my hair growth and split ends and uh, thickness. Castor oil is a miracle. 
Okay. You definitely want to get into castor oil. Highly recommend it. Um, you always want to buy one that is in a dark glass bottle. I'll leave the link below to the one I like. No affiliation. As, um, another thing, castor oil has been great. Aloe vera. So just fresh aloe through my hair. I used to do it a lot. Um, I don't think it has worked as much as the first few things I just told you. The stop dyeing your hair, get vitamin D and washing it less. Those are the three main things. But aloe vera is very nice on the hair. And finally, this is my last biggest tip. Please take this um, seriously. Okay. Affirmations. Guys, I said for years that I love my long, gorgeous hair. And it was a lie. It was not long. It was never growing. Um, it was a total lie, but I kept saying it over and over and over again. And yeah, now I have long, gorgeous hair. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so grateful. And, um, you know, I like really struggled. If you go back, if you go back on my YouTube channel, my first video that I ever put out, um, I have extremely short, very brittle, very dry, thin looking hair. Okay. My first video, it's, um, the video is on acne. Okay. So this was, you know, seven, eight years ago. The next video I did, it's called like why you should go vegan. Um, I put in extensions because I was so embarrassed. I looked at my video, the first one I made, I was embarrassed that my hair was so thin and so short. And so then I put in extensions and I was wearing extensions for a really long time. But then I stopped doing that on YouTube. I just embraced my hair and then I started the extensions again. Then I stopped doing it. Then I started doing it. Every time you see me with like highlights, like dark hair with blonde highlights, that's extensions. Okay. And um, so I just want to say that it has been a long journey for me, um, but I'm really grateful. And uh, the number one thing has been the raw food diet. It did take a long time. Vitamin D has got to be the other reason though, for sure. Okay. And by the way, I was deficient in New York. I was vitamin D deficient. Came to Florida three years ago, getting a lot more vitamin D, hair growing so much. So take that seriously. All right, Jessica. Uh, like you said, I think we all have different hair, which is awesome. Um, so I have more wavy hair. When it dries, it's wavier. It actually has be become more curly. It was wavier, and then now it's gotten to be more curly when it dries naturally, but I don't really let it dry naturally. And I use products. That's my, my number one thing that I'm going to share with you are the products that I use. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I used to be because of how much I love them. Now, I mean, if you end up wanting to get them or try them, I, it, it doesn't mean anything to me, but I love them so much. I've been using them for seven years now. And the company is called Monet. So I wash just like both of you. I wash two to three times a week. Um, it tends to be more in the hotter months because we're in Florida and my scalp will sweat more, especially working out and things. So I wash two to three times a week. Also use their conditioner, which is amazing. Um, products make such a huge difference, I've noticed. And then before I blow dry it I let it air dry at least 80 percent because the heat damages your hair so much so you want to let it air, air dry and before I even use the blow dryer I want to use a thermal protectant so it's a heat protectant I put this all over it and I also this is amazing I've also been using this for probably 10 years it's a keratin treatment and you can almost see it visibly seal up your ends, like your split ends and um, all the follicles. And it's just, I'll, I'll show you. I think it's honestly, it's like this, it's kind of like lotion and it's good for even like rubbing in your skin. I don't know all the ingredients, but it's just so smooth and light and so great on the hair. So I put that on the ends, like the bottom part, every single time before I blow dry along with the heat protectant. I have and a question I... about the products. I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah. first of all, we will leave the link below to all these products. Okay. We will leave the links, but I have a question because I want to use products, but I am so afraid I have, I don't use any products because my hair is oily. 
So I'm so afraid to use products that it, it'll make it more oily. So do you recommend that for people with thin, oily hair? Yeah. So um, I've had to mess around with it and try different things because when I, when I bring the products up too high on my hair shafts, it does make my scalp um, and my hair more oily. So I have to make sure to stay in the bottom part. Uh, even with the conditioner, if I don't, you know, if I go up too high, then it's like, okay, I need to wash my hair sooner than I would have if I didn't bring up the product so high. But yeah, okay. I mean, if you have thinner hair, if you have oily, oily hair, you could still do this. I would still recommend this, especially if you have any damage from, from using products or blow drying it. Um, because I used to use high heat, blow dry it when it was pretty much completely wet. I would flat iron it, you know, almost every day. I would use the flat iron as a curling iron. And so I would just, it would be basically simmering on the hot plate. And so I damaged it a lot. And there was even a point, um, I, I don't know, because of my diet, because of stress that I would lose so much hair in the shower. I would just, you know, I would put it on the wall and then I would clean it off after. But I just remember it just being so much hair. And um, it was during a stressful time. So I think that's what caused it to fall out like that. But these products help so much with growing it back. And now it's so full and it's thin, but I have a lot of it. Um, so, yeah, those are the main things that I do. And then I use hot curlers, but the curlers don't really do too much damage at all because they're padded with like felt and I have the heat protectant on it. So it's just very simple. Blow dry, stick those in, get ready, take them out. That's it. Yeah, I have to say, Jessica has beautiful hair. So does Brianna. Jessica, like, you have my dream hair. Honestly, your hair is so, like, just beautiful, long, and just, it's, I don't know, it just looks so healthy in person. So it makes me want to try that product. It's funny you say that because when you're saying you have bone straight hair, I remember there was a girl uh, that I was friends with growing up, and she always had, like, perfectly straight hair. And during that time, everyone straightened their hair. And like, that was the thing that everyone wanted. And I was just like, oh, your hair dries like that. And she was just like, yeah. <laughs> and so when you say that, I'm like, man, you're so lucky. But it's like, we always want what we don't have, or the grass is always greener. Absolutely. Sometimes the grass is greener because the grass is fake on the other side. I learned that quote the other day. I was like, yeah, that's the quote. But basically, I always wanted curly hair like you and Brianna. So I curl my hair a lot. I have to tell you guys, I use the curling iron a lot for videos. All Like even today, like my my hair, I curled it. I mean, the curls didn't last. So it's straightening because I don't use hairspray. I don't use any products, but I tried to curl it. And, uh, you know, after, like an hour ago, it was nice and curly. But anyway, um, OK, so I had a few questions. Uh, oh, yeah, Brie Brie. Can I just say, I want to second what Jessica said, because you always want what you don't have. Like I have curly hair, super curly hair when I was younger, and I would straighten it every single day. I would perm my hair and I killed it. Like I would just put so many harsh chemicals and it wasn't until I started embracing my curls and just like coming to the fact that this is me. I have curly hair. So I just want to say, like, enjoy what you have. Like, you're beautiful. You were given this hair for a reason. Embrace it. Everybody's different. Yes. Yeah. Well, that is what you're going to teach us in the beauty retreat as well. Uh, because, yeah, Brianna is definitely my self-love guru. OK, I really look up to her when it comes to treating myself better. And just being nicer to myself. And yeah, to being nice to your hair, no matter what, if you have hair, you're blessed. Okay? Even if you're bald, you're blessed. But let me tell you, there's a lot of people out there that don't have any hair, that can't grow their hair at all. So why don't we start looking at what we do have instead of wishing for what we don't? You know, all of us just are always, like Jess said, you know, always wanting something else. And um, that is going to lead you to misery. You know, like... Um, comparison is the root of all, um, depression and like, just not ever realizing what you have. So being grateful for what you have and that helps. And the more love you give to your hair, the more it will grow. Just thinking like a little child, like the more you love it, it will grow for the better. 
And the more you hate it and be mean to it and criticize it, the more it will change for the worst. So just be aware of that. Um, do you ladies have any other things that you thought of, any tips and tricks that you forgot to mention maybe about your hair care routines? I would use, when you're washing it, don't use super hot water. That will damage it as well. So you want to use warm water or even cold water. Uh, at the very end, when you're rinsing out the conditioner, use cold water. It helps seal it. Yeah, I forgot about that. I haven't been doing that. But I have I have seen a nice difference in my hair. Super cold water uh, at the end. Like, even if it's not on your body, if you just put it on your hair, you know, you lean to the side and you put on your hair. I have seen a big difference in the shine and the health of my hair. So that's a really good tip. Bree, did you have another one that you wanted to share? Just lastly, what I was thinking about is doing less um, styles to your hair. I used to have a different style of the week <laughs> because I didn't want to just have it in a bun. So I do like about two to three hairstyles, but I stopped like doing a whole bunch of um, tightness in my hair. So like the tight twist I would do and the braids and stuff. So just keep that minimal. Of course, like it's so beautiful. So do it sometimes, but let your hair breathe sometimes. Yeah, I think that's been uh, good for me. I don't do anything with my hair. I think that's been good, except, you know, the curling it that that is not ideal. Um, I like Jess. I'm probably going to ask you if you can send me the link to those curlers because it sounds like that would be way healthier and we'll leave them down below as well. And um, now we are going to talk real quick about the Raw Beauty Retreats menu. So one of you ladies, unmute yourself and tell us because we have a raw food chef that's going to be making us food and we're really excited about the food we're going to be serving. I just want to let everybody know that we will be having unlimited, amazing, exotic, tropical fruit that mostly is going to be grown here locally in South Florida. So if you don't know, we're having a retreat May 17th through the 19th called the Raw Beauty Retreat. And we're going to be going through everything inside and out to help you glow up in 2024. Okay. And so uh, I just want you to know that we're going to be having lots of fruits like soursop, mammy sapote, jackfruit, uh, sapodilla. We're going to be having locally grown, locally grown dragon fruit. The drone came from putting the grown and the dragon together. No drones at the retreat. Um, but we're going to be having um, anything that is um, locally grown and in season. So it's going to be mango season. There's, oh, Brie, Brie knows. Yeah, Jess knows too, but I feel like me and Brie, like we're really excited for this because there's over 400 types of mangoes, guys. We're not going to have time to try all of them, but I promise you, I am going to deliver, over deliver, and I'm going to make sure you have mangoes you've never tried before. Okay, I'm going to make sure of it. So that's really, really exciting. Um, and then there's this farm. Uh, called Tropical Acres Farm. They have over 400 types of mangoes. I'm going to get mangoes from there for us for that weekend. So I'm really excited. And uh, now who is going to tell us more about the food that we're going to be having? We can both do it. I'm excited. Yeah, we can both do it. You want to start out and I'll finish? Yes, definitely. Okay. So on Friday, when everybody arrives, once we get all settled in and we get to know each other, then that will be our raw like Italian night. So we're gonna have lasagna, which I'm really excited about. There's gonna be zucchini in there and tomatoes and some avocados and sun-dried tomatoes. I, I know it's gonna be amazing. And we're also gonna have a green salad and we're gonna have a dressing, a garlic tahini salad, salad dressing. And then, I love dessert. So I don't know about you ladies, but I'm really excited. We're going to have brownies. So it's going to be a raw date and walnut brownie. And that's going to have like dates and cacao and walnuts and maple syrup and a whole bunch of other goodness. And for those of us that don't eat cacao, because there are some picky, uh, I'm assuming somebody's going to be like me, picky. I don't eat cacao anymore. So for those of us that don't eat cacao, we're going to have mame sapote for dessert, which tastes like pumpkin pie. Okay. We, we're going to have a little cinnamon if you want to sprinkle it on top, but 
um, telling you right now, no matter what you want to eat, it will be available at the retreat. Oh, that rhymes. So there you go. Um, okay, who's next? I think Jess is going to go for, thank you, Brie. That was perfect. Um, how about Saturday? Okay, yes, Saturday. I will tell you exactly what you're going to be getting to have. Um, so you're going to wake up with your very own freshly juiced organic celery juice. And that's how you get to start your morning. I don't know if you do that now, but if you don't, it's going to be a game changer. And if you do, then you will value how exceptional this is. Having it juiced for you, ready to go, not cleaning up, not prepping it. It's just there. And so you get to start your day with fresh celery juice. And then also, this is like the cherry on top. You get a green juice. So the green juice is going to be also completely organic. It's going to have green apple, cilantro, ginger, cucumber, lemon, romaine, all of that. And a beautiful green juice after your celery juice. And then we have breakfast, which is going to be a fruit buffet. And then we will have raw tacos. So we're going to have... Again, it's going to be sun-dried tomatoes. There's going to be garlic. There's going to be chili powder, avocado, radish, mushrooms, all kinds of things. But it's going to be a raw taco bar. So we're going to have romaine shells. Um, everything's going to be fresh. It's going to be organic. It's going to be healthy. You can literally dive in and eat anything and know that it's nourishing you. And it's going to taste so good. I mean, this is like, this is raw gourmet food just readily available for every meal that you're with us. And then you'll also get the avocado tahini dressing with that, which has avocado, tahini, dill, I'm loving dill lately, dulce. We're making sure to use dulce instead of salt for things. Um, and then if you prefer using salt, you can always add it yourself. So that's great. Yeah. And it's the dream. I mean, I would love to go on this retreat because it the dream is to be able to go somewhere and not worry about food, not worry about making it, not worry about what you're eating. Like it's my dream to have a retreat where anything I eat, I know I can trust it because I would eat those ingredients. There's not going to be any oils. There's not going to be any salts. There's not going to be any, everything's organic. Um, and that's the dream, you know? Uh, everything's raw, of course. And so I'm really excited. And I, yeah, the juice is really powerful. Of, of course, again, it's organic. I don't really recommend you juice things that aren't organic. You know, I mean, uh, it's controversial, but you are drinking a lot of pesticides. So you want to be careful when you're juicing things because you're getting such a large volume of produce when you're juicing. You want to be careful and you definitely want your juice to be organic. I see some people on the internet like juicing and it's not organic. And I, I don't, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. If the, if the pesticides are meant to kill bugs, it's meant to, it's not healthy for us. It might not kill us, but like, it's not going to do us good. And all juices should be healing, not hurting you. Okay. Brianna, do you want to share on Sunday what we'll be having? Yes. So Sunday will be our last day. I know we're going to want to stay forever, but that's also the day that we will be going to the farmer's market. So that will be amazing as well. Um, in the morning, you will have, again, the celery juice and the amazing green juice that Jessica just described. And then we will have, for lunch, we'll have a raw sushi bar. So just like a taco bar, we'll have a raw sushi bar and you can add anything in your in your sushi, there'll be sprouts, and I love sprouts in my sushi. There'll be beets and garlic and avocado, zucchini and radishes and cabbage. So that will be amazing. There'll even be carrots too. And then there'll also be a dipping sauce that comes with it. And that will include tahini, chili powder, and misu dates, misu and dates. And of course, you can't have raw sushi without miso. So we'll have that as well. And for the people who do want a salad, we'll have a kale, a beautiful, beautiful kale salad with dino kale. I love the look of dino kale. It's just so different. And it's so yummy. We'll have cherry tomatoes. Is that lasanato? What is dino kale? That's lasanato kale? 
I'm yeah, not okay. Sure I've heard, yeah, I've just never says heard it is. <laughs> I've heard of both, and I think they're interchange- interchangeable. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. But there'll be uh, cherry tomatoes and bell peppers and sunflower seeds in there. And that dressing will also be miso and mustard and walnuts and dates in there. So that'll be amazing. And then we'll have a few workshops afterwards, and then we'll have an afternoon snack. And I'm going to actually leave that. So that's going to be a surprise. No, I want to know. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, fine. That's a surprise. It's going to be raw vegan, obviously, but um, that's really cool. And I wanted to say real quick, guys, that all that stuff, of course, is made by our raw vegan chef. And I'm going to make sure that um, whoever is coming, if you have any dietary restrictions beyond a raw vegan diet, that we will accommodate. So, for example, um, personally, I'm going to have the dressing without miso. Cause I don't, I don't like miso. It has salt in it. It's a little salty. So personally I'm going to request it without miso. And so if you want to do that too, absolutely. Okay. This is your weekend. So whatever you want, you got it, boo. And also on Sunday, you're going to have fresh sugar cane juice, fresh coconut water, and amazing, incredible fruit at the farmer's market too. So basically what we're trying to say is come hungry. Come hungry and very thirsty to the retreat because you're going to get so much alive living foods, incredible juices, and the coconut water at the farmer's market is from young green Florida coconuts. And the coconut meat is amazing. There's also a smoothie I love to get there. There's soursop juice there. There's The smoothie is coconut water, coconut meat, mami sapote. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, there's so much going on at this farmer's market. It's my favorite place ever. So I'm excited for that. So, so, so excited. And also just a heads up and we're going to wrap this up, but you're going to be going home with fruit. So I would highly recommend, okay, this is just what I would do. You pack very light and you bring a carry on uh, like a bag empty. Like you bring a bag and you're going home with passion fruit, mangoes, mami sapote. And yes, you can bring fruit on a plane. You can also put in your suitcase, but I would highly recommend you pack light. We go on the nude beach, so you don't need a bathing suit, okay? So pack light, and um, we're going to have all the toiletries and towels and stuff for you. You don't need to bring that stuff. We have yoga mats. We have bedding. You know, we have everything you need. You just need, you know, like two shirts, two pants or shorts. That's it. One pair of shoes, okay? We're going to be barefoot the most of the time. So don't worry. You're going to pack very light. We're going to supply everything you need, and you're going to get a gift bag, bag too. We'll talk about that in another episode, our beautiful gift bag that we're going to be providing you guys with. So yeah, that's it. I think for now, thank you guys so much. We'll leave more details below. If you're interested in signing up for the retreat, we only have four spots left. So you might want to look into it because once those four spots are taken, it's a wrap boo. All right. And so only 10 women can come to the retreat. So I love you very much. I thank you for watching. Please take care of your hair first and foremost like Brianna said, by sending it love, being grateful that we have hair, beautiful hair, and it will only get more beautiful the more love you send it. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye, boo. Bye. Thank you. Bye.